guys, welcome to Getting Outdoors with Mike and Yvonne. We've been asked a couple questions to do a couple more videos on our tablets that we do for the side-by-side -side trails. And uh, one of them we're going to do today is going to be how to download offline files. Um, when you get these tablets, they're preloaded. We preset them. And we download the offline files for the trails that is marked on the tablets only because you know, we don't know exactly where everybody lives at and where they're going to ride. So in Backcountry Navigator, you have the whole uh, entire world as far as topos go. So all you need to do, and I'm going to show you on the screen, is you'll go in before you go on your ride, turn your Wi-Fi off, and check and see if you have the topo areas downloaded. If it shows a white screen with offline uh, notes on it, then that means it's not downloaded yet. So it's real simple. We're going to show you how to do it, so stay tuned. Alrighty, so we're back to the computer screen now, and what I've done is I'm sharing my uh, Android tablet to the computer so you can watch exactly what we're doing. Um, so we're going to go down here and we're going to open up the Backcountry Navigator app, and what it'll do is it'll start back out where you left off that uh, and this was the last screen that I had and what I want to do is I want to show you how to have the background when you're in here riding so when you start going in and you start looking in detail this is the detail that you want to see when your topo is downloaded um, if you don't see that, if you see a white screen, then you just need to take care of this before you go out riding again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it. And just remember, everywhere where you have trails on your tablet, the topos are already downloaded for it. But let's say you're going to ride in an area where there's no trails on it so far. This is what I'm going to show you how to do. So I'm going to zoom out here. And there's an area called Uari National Forest down in North Carolina um, that um, some people go ride. Uh, it's made for Jeeps and um, side-by-sides, four-wheelers. And it's located down off in Uari National Forest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this area into my tablet. Um, so that way when I go down and ride and I track my trails, then I'll be able to have the topos in the background. What you want to do is you want to set your setting on to about a 10. You can do larger. You just can't do smaller because the tablet requires at least a 10 magnification in order to save. So it's real simple. What we want to do is we want to come up here and hit map layers. We want to hit select areas for download. All right, and then you have two items that comes across the top of the screen. One is select, one is scroll. Scroll allows you to move the screen around. Select actually will allow you to select the areas you want to download. And what you'll do is you'll take your finger and put it on the screen above the area. And you'll hold down on your finger and you'll pull down and then you'll go over. And you're creating a square is what you're creating. And so what this means, that means this whole area is fixing to be downloaded into my tablet. But I want to get this other little bit of the area down here below this lake too. So we're going to hit scroll. And we're going to scoop my screen up just a little. We're going to hit select again. And I'm going to take in this other little area down here. Alright, so you do that on all the areas um, that you want to uh, download. You'll just hit download. You'll hit begin download. And what it'll do is it'll see how much space is left in your tablet. And it'll tell you if there's enough space to add this. Now you can only do about 5 gigs at a time. So if it comes up and tells you that you can't be done at that time, that means that you're trying to put too much into the tablet at once. So you do your uploads probably in two intervals instead of just one. Um, but um, the tablet will hold quite a bit of topos and quite a bit of information. As you can see, I still have about 11 gigs left myself. 
Sometimes this space will get caught up in about 95 or so, but mine went fairly quickly. And what you want to do is you want to hit proceed. When you hit proceed, you'll just take the tablet, uh, lay it down somewhere, don't touch the screen, make sure your battery is up good or have it plugged into power. And then what it'll do is it'll sit there and it will download all these topos that we just marked into the tablet for offline use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause my screen and I'm going to wait for this to get done because it's going to tell us either download failed or download completed. Either one is the same. If it says failed, it still worked for you, believe it or not. So we'll come back here in a minute when this thing is fully uploaded and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we're back. And as I told you, it said download failed, which is okay. So we're going to hit the back button once and twice. And now we're back to where we were and our maps and everything will be downloaded just like what it said over in our area. So if you're ever out and you're riding, don't get, don't get worried if you see a white area on your screen because it just hadn't been downloaded yet. So before you go, just take the time, turn your Wi-Fi off on your tablet and just check the area beforehand and then download it. So. Hope you enjoyed the how-to video. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, hit us up on Facebook, on Instagram, and also um, on our YouTube channel. So if, uh, hopefully we'll see you out on the trails, and please continue having a great time.